Morning, everybody. Welcome to the Angeles Forest. Uh, this should be interesting. The 2016 Camaro is out. People are modifying them now. So, a whole round of modded 16 Camaros. This is Kyle, O Canada. Uh, but you live here now, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so, but this is a Canadian spec car, which means absolutely nothing except the Speedo is in K and the parking brake indicator is different, right? Yeah, well, you can change it over to mile an hour. But we're gonna leave it in K. Oh. We're working in K today. The point of this car uh, is that it is supercharged. Tell me about uh, your Camaro, Kyle. Yeah, so it's got a, it's bone stock with NPP 2SS. Uh, it's obviously a stick, but it's got a Vortec blower on it. So Which is a centrifugal blower, yeah, so snail blower. Similar to the, the Pro Charger setup, it's a little smaller. Mm -hmm. uh, it's self-lubricated, it's a V3 SI. Okay. Uh, it's only six and a half pounds of boost right now. But on a, but, but it's designed for a completely stock powertrain. Yes. Yeah, this is completely stock and makes 508 wheel. So. 508 wheel off of, and what was the, what did the car make from the factory? Because 455 crank. Yeah, on yeah. that dyno, it's Cunningham Motorsports, right. so it's a heartbreaker dyno, so 370 around there. Oh, so a gain of 140 horsepower yeah, at the wheels. Yeah. I mean, with with this tune, he's a yeah. good tuner. So. Uh, Cunningham, if I will plug him, I see yeah. I see Cunningham at the runway events, yeah. murdering. He's a missile. He's got fastest NA vet, right? Yeah, he's got a big power NA vet. Uh, I will plug Cunningham, yep, and they're they're, they're good. Okay, well let's uh, let's see how it is. All right, let's see what uh, what chassis setting are we in? Sport. We're gonna go. We'll start in sport. I have your steering in the the lightest one because I know you hate track. Yeah, <laughs> I, I actually I don't like the heavy steering setting in this car. I like you like it light too. Yep. Yeah, because light isn't really that light. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think it's right. So so far, except for just that little whoosh I heard when I shifted at normal speeds, it feels totally normal. Yeah. Seamless. Yeah. No. Yeah. Drives smoothly. Control on. Does um does putting it uh, changing the settings at all change your throttle mapping or is that uh, yeah. just a so track chassis? mode? It softens it up a little bit. It's not as responsive. It softens it up. Yeah, so it dumbs it down. So it's if not you like hit curbing, you're not as jerky. Right, so it's not as sensitive. Oh, that's interesting. Usually it goes the other way, huh? Yeah. Good power. Good power. It is. It's right there. I'm used to it. Man, so Are you it's, bored it's on it? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I got a buddy, uh, Matt, Lethal Camaro, uh, he has a 615 wheel. That's a lot. Uh, but it's an eight-speed car, so it's a proper oh, yeah. missile on our triple eights and... and I'm excited for the new ZL1. Yeah, I hear they're, they're, I hear they're running, like, down in the, in the nines on s spray and slicks. Yep. They're running nines. And that's on radials that's wild, 11s. yeah. Ten nine. All right. Oh, big open straightaway. Let's see what she's got. Get right to 68. To 68, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's moving. Oh, wow. It really wakes up up top, huh? Yeah, it's a proper highway. Missile. That's a highway car, yeah. Have you taken this out to the runway yet? Uh, no, because I just we just got finished up retuning it. Uh, maybe Thursday, actually. Wow. You, you're, you're, you're going to the runway with this, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the runway, runway raising is so fun. 
and you don't uh, tear as much stuff up. No, no, you don't break up your cars so much, and you don't uh, you don't abuse your your axles and stuff because yep. you're launching it. And by the way, you go faster. Yeah, and the races <laughs> yeah. last longer. You know what? It's it is very linear. It mm -hmm. doesn't it, it doesn't feel abnormal. It doesn't feel it doesn't even really feel like there's anything there. No, I mean, you've power. got more power, but the power band and the way it's delivered is really not affected at all. And you can even, if I'm honest, I'm being kind of ham-fisted with it, and it seems to be putting up with it <laughs> just fine. It's really not concerned at all. That's the centrifugal blower. For yeah, you know, this car's got a lot of chassis, too. It, yes. The, I, I, the, my gripes about the Camaro have nothing to do with the performance of it or anything. The gap. The what? The, gap, the gaps. The yeah, the yeah. paddle gaps and this. Yep. That's that rock hardness. But but this car, even in stock form, is fast. Oh yeah. By the way, I've, I've basically been in third gear the whole time. <laughs> We're gonna let's see what second is like up top. Yeah, the tires are warmed up. You should be right. Is it standard tires? No, the power super sports. Oh, one well, at least back though. So it doesn't. Have, I don't have the sway bars on it yet. I drove one LE. It was lovely. Yeah. Lovely. My friend's got one. Yeah. It's a proper car. I'm doing the one L, the ZL1 one LE in a couple of weeks. Good for you. Yeah. yeah. It's all about that up top, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So that's where the runway racing is really. You're gonna be good. Well, that's why. Like once I got the blower, it actually increased my gas mileage. Did it? Because yeah, you're two using miles really. It's not I, vacuum all the time. Yeah. So let's see, a stock Camaro SS probably runs middle to high 140s at the runway? Uh, I wouldn't know, I haven't taken one. I'd my have to my vet, my C5 before I sold it, yeah. you know, it was 3,100 pounds, 400 wheel horsepower, and it ran a 140. Okay. This is heavier, but has, has and a little less power. I bet you this would run, yeah, 140 out of the box ish, right? Yeah. So I bet you this supercharger gets you. Eight to nine miles an hour in the runway. I think you could probably crack 150 with this, yeah. uh, which would be a good a, a good accomplishment. Uh, 150 at the runway is, for a street car is very quick. Yeah, I'm kind of like in between. Do I really want to keep it a street car? Really? You know, I kind of. I just got rid new, of my daily. <laughs> well, yeah. I just got rid of my daily, so it's kind of like. May I recommend the Mercedes R129? <laughs> <That's a daily. laughs> Magnetic shocks are good. The performance is good. Um, I personally don't love the seating position. It's okay for short periods of time. I but don't like the seat either. I don't like this seat. I like the ZL1 seat. Yeah, um, it's a different seat, and the <laughs> ZL1 seat is better for me. Is better. No, it is. Um, you know, your car. If you're if you like it, great. Um, but I my back kind of hurt after I put a few hundred miles on one of these. Um, but look, as a performance platform, the, yeah. the Alpha platform is great. This chassis is excellent. The LT1 engine is excellent. The shifter is nice. The steering is good in the lightest setting for me. And the supercharger, do you mind if I ask, what does that supercharger kit cost? Yeah, it retails at uh, 54 in, uh, Plus installation. Yeah. Okay. So then, it's right on par with the Pro Charger kit. Okay. So you're probably looking at what, seven to seven grand or so installed and tuned? Yeah. Okay. I mean, look, it's, uh, it's a lot of money, but it's quite a bit of horsepower. And yeah, that's, oh, is, your digital speedo is accurate. Oh, no, it's all accurate. It's all accurate. Okay. Yeah. No, it just goes up to 330. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, kilometer is an Kilometer, is, it's, it's showing miles an hour, but it's it goes up to 300. Yeah, it's ambitious. It seems you've got a Veyron. And, uh, um, no, it's for seamless power, do you get, um, does Vortec offer a warranty? Yeah, they do. On and, their parts. I don't know is, about a powertrain. Not a powertrain. But okay, but on their stuff. On yeah, their absolutely. Kit. Yeah, yeah. And dare I, dare I ask, carb? Uh, no, no, no carb. Uh, this is an out-of-state carb. So. Oh, okay. Canada. Yep. Okay, so not 50 state, unfortunately. Such is life. This is my favorite section of this road right here. I don't know why. I just I find this Smooth. section beautiful. You got to give it kind of a big blip, don't I you? I noticed that, especially yeah, in track mode. Yeah. Especially, oh, let's try that. I want to see what your dumbed down throttle feels like. Okay, now we're in track mode. Let's see. I'm also in the wrong gear. These cars sound great, man. Oh, yeah. Especially. 
especially for, for stock, although you have the, the sport exhaust. Yeah. Right. It's the best. Yeah, it's it's like, oh, so you really got to look at the speedometer. It masks yeah. the speed because <laughs> the chassis is really good and it rides really good. You're not getting banged around all over the place. It, it really is, absorbs bumps well, and so you got to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you look down and you're shit, that's 100. <laughs> That's why I lo the biggest thing is like I loved when I took the run flats off. I mean they gripped all right. Oh, they're until terrible. They're lower, they're but, terrible. But they're so stiff and yeah. they're loud. Yeah. Like this car rides so much better with those single yeah. sports. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I any car I owned, I would remove run flats and get a AAA membership, and that would be that. Yep. I did I get a little bit of wine? Yeah. Oh, Just yeah. a little there. Yeah. But the the uh, the roots blowers they they whine more and this hisses more. Mm -hmm. Like when you come down off compression on the outside, you hear it. Like some of these centrifugal supercharged cars, we hear it's like, <laughs> well, and this one's not like that. But you can you can hear that on the outside of it. It's because this one's tucked where the stock intake used to be, so it's oh. hidden by the fender and under the hood. Oh, okay. On the Pro Charger one, it's sitting out in front of the grill. It's a big red thing. That makes sense. That's making sense. This is good, Kyle. This is very nice. Easy street car, very fast, easy to live with. You know, if the seats and the headroom and stuff works for you, then it's it's good. But goddamn, does it go? Oh boy, that's a big number. It's a fast car, man. This thing is no joke. All thanks to Cunningham. I mean, I don't mean yeah. to plug them, but they they really got it down. Plug yeah. them. That's what we do here. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. I would say it would be a bullshit plug, but I've been at these runway events where he yep. murders fools. You emceed, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. it's a fun gig. I got to go back out there this year. I got to run my SL. <laughs> R129 life. I bet you that thing does about 105. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe 110. <laughs> 300 horsepower. That's a daily. I love the sounds you make on, it makes on the blips. That's good. Wow, Kyle. I mean, I appreciate you sharing this one with us. This one is... Um, it's an interesting build. I mean, it's it's a it's kind of a, a standard issue uh, a tune, but for the consumer advice, the, that Del Sol I just did, no consumer takeaway. The consumer takeaway here is uh, that's quite a good kit. That's yeah, nice. Efficient. It's good. Thanks for coming out, Kyle. I appreciate it, man. Shout out to Cunningham for doing a nice little tune with this thing. Uh, check out Kyle's wheel well to uh, see where he goes with this. Should we place bets? I'm going to bet race car. 640. <laughs> I bet race car. 640 <laughs> wheel. That's, where I'm, that's what I'm betting. Um, and check out my wheel well to see what's going on in my life. Added my R129SL. That's what's up. Driving the market up. <laughs> I'm a tastemaker, motherfucker. And uh, thank you for watching. See you later.